Welcome to this video lecture titled Planning Research-Based Teaching and Learning. In this lecture, we will look at how research-based teaching and learning in practice can be realized. Here, it is important to begin by emphasizing that different subject areas in higher education realize research-based teaching and learning in various ways. Therefore, in this lecture, I will not deal with any individual subject area, nor will I really talk about how research-based teaching and learning is realized in concrete teaching situations with uh, students. I will touch upon it on uh, a bit at least, but I have left this discussion to another video lecture, and you can see the link to that video lecture in the corner. My purpose in this video lecture is instead to provide a broader framework where, when planning research-based teaching and learning. It is therefore up to you to decide how this relates to your own subject areas. So this video lecture contains the following parts. In the first video, I highlight that planning for research-based teaching and learning takes place at three different levels. Structural, administrative level, a collegial level, and an individual level. As I explain, research-based teaching and learning in a subject area should be realized by allowing these three levels to interact. In the second video, second video I discuss the educational scholar Ron Griffith's description of the research teaching nexus. When you talk about research-based teaching and learning, you are moving between and mixing teaching and research. Griffith shows how this is expressed in practice in teaching situations. The educational scholar Mikhilu has seen the potential of Griffith's thinking and developed a model based on it. In the third video, I will be presenting this model. Then I show how research-based teaching and learning emerges in Bloom's taxonomy, uh, which is a well-known model that shows how a progression from lower order thinking skills to higher order thinking skills can occur. I conclude with a brief summary of the content and purpose of this video lecture. I hope you enjoy these videos.